It was required that the centre be able to classify according to confirmation and fatness, at least as well as the BCC1. It must also be able to classify according to fat colour. Furthermore, a high capacity was required, as was the ability to classify objectively without using manual probe measurements. The classification takes place after the slaughtering process has been completed. The carcass is transported on the overhead rail to the measuring station. During this transportation, a guide bar ensures correct positioning of the carcass. A stopping device separates the two halves of the carcass so that only the left half is moved into the measuring area. The other half remains outside. A frame suspended from the ceiling is moved forward to stabilise the carcass. The green screen behind the carcass ensures a clear contour for the video recording. The lights are switched on and when the carcass is stabilised, an image is recorded. After the lights have been switched off, another image is recorded. Structured light is projected onto the carcass. The stripes of light are shaped according to the thickness of the carcass, thereby giving information about the three-dimensional shape. 